good evening. I'd like to welcome you all to the Area 1 contest. We have eight wonderful contestants, four in each contest, and I'm looking forward to some incredible speeches this evening. Now I would like to introduce our Toastmaster. She is an author, a world traveler, mm -hmm. and a former area governor, Amy Samato. Yeah. Thank you, Madam Area Governor, and I want to first of all start out by saying welcome to all of our dignitaries, our guests, our contestants, and everyone that came out tonight to be in this contest. I am so excited to be your Toastmaster tonight. As I was driving today, there were a few things I was thinking about that made me very happy, and some of you may agree with me that number one, spring is in the air. Yes. Yes. The grass is turning green. I think we've all survived the one hour of spring forward. But the thing I'm happiest about is being a part of Toastmasters. I'm not as involved as I want to be sometimes because of my travels. But one thing I think of Toastmasters is it's like an old friend. You can always pick up where you left off. So I thank you again for being here tonight. Tonight we will have two contests the Table Topic Contest, and the International Speech Contest. The first contest will be the Table Topics Contest. When that contest has concluded, we will then have a 10 minute break. After the break, we will then conduct the International Speech Contest. Before I move into our contest, I would like to take a moment and recognize all of our dignitaries that are here tonight with us. First of all, our club growth director, Iqbal Acha. Could you please stand? Yeah. I would also like to recognize our Northwest Division Director, German Zambrano. Area 2 Director, Keith Addison. Yeah. Area 1 Director, Sue Hasselwinter. Area 3 Director, Hamani Kumar. Director John Capel. I would also like to take it a moment and recognize some of our past district governors. Tonight we have with us Bruce Burrow. I would also like to recognize our past district governor, 1993-94, Michaeline Solotsky. Are there any other dignitaries here with us tonight that have not been recognized? If so, would you please stand? Thank you. Contestants, timers, ballot counters, and sergeant at arms have all been briefed prior to the beginning of this contest. Everyone is aware of the Toastmaster international rules that govern this contest. No one should enter or leave the room tonight during the contestants' presentations. You may do so only if time permits during the minute of silence between presentations. Thank you. With that said, let the contest begin. I would now like to give the speaking order first for the table topics contestants. This is the speaking order again for the table topics contest. 
Our first speaker this evening for the Table Topics Contest will be Tim Folger. Again, our first speaker will be Tim Folger. Our second contestant for the Table Topics Contest will be Paul Blackwood. Again, our second contestant for the Table Topics Contest will be Paul Blackwood. Contestant number three for the Table Topics Contest is Seth Colley. And that is misspelled on, on the program as Seth Covey. I would like to correct that is Seth Colley. Seth is speaker number three. Our fourth and final speaker in the Table Topics Contest tonight is Gary Christ. Again, the fourth speaker in the Table Topics Contest is Gary Christ. Mr. and Ms. Sergeant at Arms, would you please escort all of the Table Topics contestants out of the room except for our first contestant, Tim Folger. to hear from our table topics contestants. There will be one minute of silence between each contestant. Timekeepers, when I advise you to do so, please signal me with a green light when one minute is up. After all the contestants have spoken, the judges will be given as much time as they need to complete their ballots. We will now begin the table topics contest. Tim Bolger, if you could take a single photograph of your life, what would it look like? If you could take a single photograph of your life, what would it look like? Tim Bolger. First of all, let's get one thing straight. It wouldn't be a photograph. It would be a video. <laughs> and it would be because I love videotaping. What would that thing consist of? Perhaps me winning a speech contest. Or perhaps me being or doing something at my church, helping a young person. There are many types of events in my own life that I would have loved to have captured on film. But there was one in particular that I really want to talk about, and that was I went through a baptism where I had full immersion in at Springbrook Community Church about five years ago. It was done at the lake in Lake in the Hills. I went underneath, I came up, and then I had to do a two-minute impromptu reason about my own conversion experience at the time. That was one of the first events that I had literally taped outside at a live event. I have since gone back and looked at that many a time. But I think for me, that decision, as many of the Christians say, might be the most important one of your life. I'm glad I have that one on tape. Madam Table Topics. <laughs>
Table Topics contestant number two, Paul Lockwood. If you could take a single photograph of your life, what would it look like? If you could take a single photograph of your life, what would it look like? Paul Blackwood. I think when we think about photograph, trying to cover your entire life in one photograph, it's got to be a panoramic view. If you don't have a panoramic camera, you're out of luck. And when I think of my life, I realize still photography? Still photography? I am never still. <laughs> I am active to the nth degree. You would not want to see my schedule for this weekend alone. I am in three church services doing items this weekend. I am rehearsing for a musical at the Woodstock Opera House. I am going to a musical on Saturday night in Aurora to review it for the Northwest Herald. I have a Toastmasters meeting in the morning. I have a rehearsal for the solo that I'm singing at two of those services. I'm not still. <laughs> There's a Bible verse that says, be still and know. That's the toughest Bible verse for me to accommodate. <laughs> when I think of a photograph of my life, it has to have all of the different facets of my life. I just turned 56 earlier this week. One of the things that I've always noticed is who shares my birthday, who's a famous person. <laughs> Einstein, Michael Caine, Billy Crystal, Quincy Jones. If I have an inkling of the amount of intelligence of Einstein, a small amount of the humor of Crystal, a small amount of the musical ability of Jones, and a small amount of the acting ability of Michael Caine, then I've had a full life. And I think to be able to capture that, it has to be a video, it cannot be a still photograph. <laughs> silence while the judges mark their ballots. Table Topics contestant number three, Seth Colley. If you could take a single photograph of your life, what would it look like? If you could take a single photograph of your life, what would it look like? Seth Colley. fellow Toastmasters and guests. Probably a lot of you have that thought in your mind. If you could take one photograph, what would it be? You'd probably think of maybe a wedding or a graduation or probably the birth of maybe a child. And for me, if I could take a photograph, I think it would be of my birth. Because seriously, does anybody really know what you look like? or what your parents looked like at your birth. Now for me, 
I've got a storied birth. And that's why I would say it'd be my birth. Because I'm not supposed to be here. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am a medical mistake. <laughs> and I remind my parents of that every chance I get. <laughs> On all seriousness, my mother actually had a problem with full-term live births. And in fact, with me, she went septic. We almost lost her, and we almost lost myself. I was eight weeks preemie. I wasn't the svelte image you see in front of me right now. I was four pounds, nine ounces, and the teddy bear they gave me was bigger than me. And I spent the next six weeks in the ICU with tubes down my nose. But my parents were so proud that they actually were able to conceive and have a child. They were actually looking to adopt when they got pregnant with me. And to even add more to it, my mom's pediatrician said, you get pregnant again, I'm not your doctor. <laughs> because that's how complicated my birth was. So I would actually like to see pictures, because I've seen pictures of me as a little baby, but I've not seen pictures really of my parents and how happy and filled with joy that they were that this little Bundle came into the world. <laughs> May we please have one minute of silence while the judges mark their ballots? Contestant number four, Gary Crist. If you could take a single photograph of your life, what would it look like? If you could take a single photograph of your life, what would it look like? Gary Crist. Hello, Postmasters. A photograph of my life would be hard to see because it's not fully developed yet. But it would start off with a little tiny spot when the angels came together and decided that the world needed somebody like me. Not long after that, the picture got a little bit bigger as we moved out to the farm. Wow, what a big change that makes in a person's perspective. And then I got married, had a baby, the picture's growing and growing. And then I discovered what was so important in my life, the realization that there's a God in the universe that cares enough about me to bring me water in the desert, to bring me food when there's no food, damn people bring thousands of dollars to me and I had nothing. But now this picture, as I've become a Toastmaster, is getting a little bit bigger, a little broader, because there's people like you who all support each other. And if this picture was fully developed, I can't even imagine what it's going to look like because it just keeps getting better every day. What would I call it, a picture? Hopefully a humble man looking to serve one another. That's my story. <laughs> Please. 
remain silent while the judges complete their ballots and then have them picked up by the ballot counters. Toastmaster, we have all the ballots. Before we take a break and enjoy this lovely food and display of beverages, I want to call our area director, Sue Hasselwanter, to come forward <coughs> to make some announcements about the upcoming District 30 conference. Sue Hasselwanter. Sue.
be at the Holiday Inn in Skokie. And now, let's take 10 minutes to enjoy food and fellowship. Thank you.